Hey boys, welcome back to round two of the Legends competition playthrough, whatever I'm going to call this. And uh, we're taking on the Broncos here. Um, we got a fairly different team lining up. Like I said in the first video, we got uh, some guys to, you know, switch out. First change there, we got Steve Ranoff in the centers, Fiddler, Alan Langer in the halves. Um, <laughs> uh my mistake, I accidentally put, um, what's his name, Darren Lockyer in the second row. I didn't even realize until like half time of this game. So yeah, that, that was my mistake. I must have been trying to switch Lockyer out, obviously, from 5'8 five eight, five eight and just uh, stuck him in the uh, the second row. So <laughs> probably, probably lucky. Yeah, probably couldn't play in the, the back row, but um, that's all right. We switched him out. I think it's half time. I, I finally realized that Lockyer was playing in the in the second row. But yeah, we got like yeah. There's a there's a lot of guys to switch out. A lot of a lot of uh mainly the halves. Honestly, the halves are going to get switched around a lot. I mean, we still got Ricky Stewart to uh, to come in. Um, is there another one? I'm not too sure. But Anthony Milford, the danger man for the Broncos, Wally Lewis. <laughs> Holly Lewis is gonna run him down. Um, you know, I don't, uh, I don't know. I don't know if Wally Lewis could run him down at their at their peaks. I mean, Milford, Milford isn't the quickest guy over hundred. He's quick off the mark over hundred. I don't know. It's hard to tell with Milford how how fast he is. But Clive Churchill, is gonna score the opening try. Good work by Alan Langer, the little man just zipping in and out of the uh, the forwards there. Getting the pass off and a, a beautiful try to, uh, to start proceedings here. Also, I want to mention, I saw the comments, you know, it's awesome that people, you know, are going to enjoy the series and, you know, excited for it. Um, but a lot of people were, like suggesting like, um, you know, plays and and other sort of like comps I could do. And uh, they're good ideas and all that, but um, I'm not going to like start anything like major and do all this stuff for Regular League Live 3. I mean, potentially for, for Regular League Live 4. Um, saying like that could happen, but yeah, like for this game, you know, I'm, I'm sort of just doing this as a bit of a, uh, you know, um, sort of a different sort of a series other than the usual career modes. Um, but yeah, I've already got, there's already a lot going on. Can't really start anything else, but a really good defensive set here and Churchill is gonna, no, it's not Churchill. It's Fred Gaznia is going to score the second try of the game. Look at that defensive effort kicking inside the 10 meters. Um, not a great kick, and Gaznia just uh, just straight in and out here. Poor defense by the Broncos. Caught him on the, just in no man's land. And uh, going up by uh, 12 points to zero. Mel Meninga doing the goal kick here. Not his, not his usual style, but unfortunately, they don't have the old school um, <laughs> animations in the game. That would uh, actually be pretty cool. Um, for Rugby League Live 4, I don't think it's it, like I'm 100% sure they're not going to, but it'd be cool if they um they put an animation of like the toe, you know, the toe punt off the uh the kicking tee into the game, as like you know you could you could put that as uh as a kicking animation for your old school players, but yeah, it's not a, not a huge deal. But good play here, a few a few sloppy offloads, but Gaznia gets it. I oh man, I I could have just kept going. I, uh, I underestimated Gaznia's pace off the mark there. I thought um, the Broncos player was going to get to him. It was a lovely offload to Talis. And then a couple of loose ones, but they paid off. And then, I, yeah, I thought the Broncos player was going to get to Gaznia. I tried to pass it, but just went into touch. So we uh, we, we could have gone up 18-0 before the break, but it's still, still a much better, much better first half of footy than last game. Like I said in that first video we uh we didn't play very well like we still won um but yeah it was it was fairly fairly sloppy um as Mitchell Dodds here it's gonna get taken on half time but yeah like uh like I said a bit of impatience a bit of impatience just trying to score a little bit too frequently because we got a killer team like we we should not be losing any games and uh Renoff here is gonna score his first try of of the uh of the career here just uh, the footwork. That's one thing I noticed. Steve Randolph just <laughs> beating tackles left, right, and center. The footwork, just incredible. Um, Randolph, obviously one of the the greatest centers of of all time, and uh, he'll probably he'll probably be the the guy I keep in center. 
Um, honestly, I'll probably keep Ranoff because, uh, yeah, he was uh, probably more of a fan of him out there in the centers. But, yeah, 16 nil, 50 minutes gone. Benny Elias here throws a dummy, goes straight through. And uh, I'm going to get to put in an attacking kick. We go out to the right. Unfortunately, it's Paul Harrigan who gets hold of the ball. He puts in a decent little kick, but they're going to round him up and... That's going to be a, be a handover. The uh, the Broncos haven't looked too dangerous other than this man, Anthony Milford. He's been an absolute nightmare for us all game. And this time, we're not going to run him down. Elias Melmaninga was, was doing his best there. But Milford was being an absolute menace this whole game. He was the only, pretty much the only player who was causing us trouble. But every time he touched the ball, he was beating tacklers, making line breaks. So, yeah, just... Uh, just got to put a little bit more pressure on Milford when he gets the ball. Just got to focus him a little a little more as ah, Mel Meninga straight through there. I thought, I thought he was straight through, but Corey Oates comes up with a, an important tackle. Does give away the penalty, but uh, still good position to attack. Again, Meninga going to get it back on the inside to Churchill. Looking for a second, but Darius Boyd there comes up with an absolute try saver. And uh, that was, you know, should have been a try. Should have been a try, but... Good defense at the end of the day there. As I would get it out to that man, Steve Ranoff. Just cannot touch him. Beats a couple of tacklers. Step back on the inside of James Roberts. Actually, was that Roberts or maybe Kahu? I'm not too sure. But yeah, just uh, fairly, fairly good stuff. It would actually be fitting. I don't think... I think it was Kahu. But if it was Roberts, um, you know, if there's someone Ranoff or Roberts is compared to a little bit, it is Steve Ranoff. Obviously not... Not the quality of Ranoff at this stage. He's uh, Roberts is starting to come come good as again. Ranoff just man, that's why that's why I'll probably stick with Ranoff in the team. He just just beating tacklers. It's a lot of fun. As a right there, I, I don't actually know. They called a knock on. I actually don't know what happened. Like it was apparently a knock on from us. I I didn't think we did knock it on, but you know that's uh. Uh, it's a it's a mute point at this uh, at this stage. We are going to win twenty to six. A uh, fairly good win. We are we're starting to get a bit of bit of cohesion, even though the halves were totally switched out. But Anthony Milford, man, the match probably deserving. He was he was pretty dominant. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. Make sure to like if you are, and I'll see you guys next time.